Aha! Hi everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to go over the absolute risk reduction. So previously I did cover that risk is the probability of an event to happen. And to calculate the risk, we need the number of people with an event in the group. This could be a condition that is happening in the group over the total people in that same group. So what is absolute risk reduction? So absolute risk reduction is basically the true difference in between the treatment group and the control group. So this is the percent difference in risk between control group minus percent risk in the treatment group. So why do we need to calculate absolute risk reduction? So this is a R R. So the reason why it's because during a study, we're trying to compare the new medication, a new therapy with the existing medication. And we're trying to see basically if the difference in between the two, it's really significant. It's really making a difference because let's say a company, it's producing a new medication and there is already an existing medication. Let's say it's used for uh, reducing blood pressure. And then the new company, the company that is producing the new medication says that their medication actually reduces the blood pressure way better than the existing medication that is already in the market. So we want to compare the difference in between the two. Is it really that huge we want to see that and to see that one of the tools that is used to see that effect is the absolute risk reduction we want to see how much is the risk of hypertension is reduced through the new treatment that the company is producing so this is basically in other words is absolute risk reduction is the true difference between the risk in the control and treatment groups. So that's basically what it is. Absolute risk reduction. How much is the new medication is reducing the risk? What is the effect of that new medication? So to better understand this, let's take this example over here. So in this example, I do have the intervention, which we have. So drug A, this is the new drug that we just said the company is producing. And the drug B, this is the old one. This is the one that exists already in the market. So this is old one. So we have two outcomes from these two medications. So the first one is we have a first of all a total number of patients, 16 each group. And in terms of death, this medication, when people take this medication, let's say, and this study they had 60 people 60 people took the medication that already exists in the market the old one and they found out 34 of them survived 26 did not and that's what death mean that's what survival mean 
And the new medication that the company said, you know what, our medication actually does a way better job than the existing one. And what they presented, they did actually also 60 just to compare it one to one. And their number of death were 17, so it's way less than the, all the drugs. And the survival rates were 43. So for 43 patients survived in comparison to the old one where 34 survived only. And in terms of death, 17 died, where here with the old one, 26 died. So now, what is the absolute risk reduction in this study? So first of all, to calculate the absolute risk reduction, I need to calculate the risk in each group, the new medication and the old one. So the risk, I'm just gonna use the same color just to indicate which one is the new, which one is old. So risk, and this is the new med, equal. So to calculate the risk, we need to take number of patient, okay, that died over the total. So we have 17 over 60. So dividing 17 over 60, that's gonna be 0 0.28. And if we multiply this by 100, it's going to be, so 0 0.28 multiplied by 100 is 28%. Now, I know the risk in this group. Let's find out the risk in the medication that already exists in the market. So risk, and this is with the old medication, equal. So here we have 26. So it's going to be 26 over 60. So 26 over 60, this is going to give us 0 0.43, 0 0.43. And we can also multiply this by 100, 0 0.43, and it's going to give us 43%. So now I have the risk for each one of these groups. Now let's find out the absolute risk reduction. So absolute risk reduction, I'm just gonna refer to it as ARR, is basically the difference between the control group, or in this case, it's going to be the drug B because that's the old one, minus the new drug. So we have 0.43, minus 0 0.28. So this is the old medication. And this is from the new medication. So basically a risk minus the other risk. So 0.43 minus 0.28, it's going to be 0 0.15. In other words, we can also do a percentage because you could do um, over here when we're calculating the absolute risk reduction, we can do a decimal or percentage. So either way, it's fine. So what we can do, we can multiply this by 100. So 0 0.15 times 100 equal 15%. So now I have the absolute risk reduction. What does it mean? Okay. What this means is very simply is that when people took the new medication, they reduced the absolute risk reduction. The risk was the death. So here, the risk basically is death. So when they took the new medication, which is drug A, they reduced the risk of death by 15% in comparison to the old medication. So that's what, what absolute risk reduction gives us, is a true difference in between the two in comparing the risk between the two groups. So this is it for this lecture. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.